In this episode, we will take a look at an overview of a process costing system. A process costing system is used for a manufacturer when accounting for costs when they are producing identical low cost items. Inventory items that are mass produced in an automated continuous production process make it difficult to trace costs directly to each inventory item. So because we cannot trace directly to each unit of product, instead we trace costs to processes or to departments. This is different from a job order cost system. In a job order cost system, costs are traced directly to a job. And that works well if orders are custom made, heterogeneous. We can differentiate one from another. There's a low volume of production. There's a lot of flexibility in each product, in each unit, and there's not a lot of standardization. But when we're dealing with inventory that is produced in an environment with repetitive operations, products that all look alike, a high volume of production, most products are just like the other. There's not much flexibility because they're highly standardized. Instead, we have to use a process operation costing system. These two costing systems have the same objective, to account for and determine the cost of products. They use the same inventory accounts, raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. They still assign overhead exactly the same way. Predetermined overhead rate is used times the actual cost driver activity. The journal entries are exactly the same for a job order and a process costing system. The difference between a job order and process costing system lies in how the cost of goods are transferred to the finished goods and how that cost is determined. In a job order cost system, the cost of goods transferred from goods in process to finished goods when inventory is completed is equal to the cost attached to the completed jobs for that period, which works well when we're able to differentiate one job, one inventory item from another. However, in a process costing system, the cost of goods transferred from goods in process to finished goods is equal to the number of the completed units times a cost per equivalent unit. 